Police say 46-year-old Rodney Sanders confessed to the crime during an interrogation. He gave no reason for the crimes. The sheriff of Holmes County said police work and tips led police to Sanders, and the investigation is still ongoing. A memorial mass is scheduled for Monday for sisters Margaret Held and Paula Merrill. Throughout the world, priests are sexually abusing nuns placed under their authority. Dass man mir Schmerzen zufügen konnte, dass ich Schmerzen aushalten musste, das war das war nicht das Ding. Aber was unmöglich war, war, dass mir jemand meine Jungfräulichkeit traut. Je faisais des fellations au Père Marie Dominique à sa demande non pas verbale mais par par geste, par signe. Ces femmes-là qui ont été abusées croyaient profondément que c'était voulu par Dieu cet abus-là, mais elles arrivent tout à coup devant le fait qu'elles ont vécu un viol. Some servants of the church are chased out of their communities when they find themselves pregnant. Les prêtres leur donnent l'argent, les supérieurs livrent les sœurs chez le prêtre, c'est la prostitution. Peut tout arriver, même le, le prêtre qui demande que soit avorté. L'Église catholique condamne l'avortement, qu'une congrégation encourage une religieuse à avorter, c'est une abomination. Denounced for more than 20 years by sisters from every continent, these widespread crimes are passed over in silence, and the priests are protected by the law of the Vatican. Juan Randolph, seen in these photos, was arrested and is going to be extradited to Prince George's County to face charges including rape and home invasion. The victim was a Catholic nun who was a virgin. He was arrested last December in D.C. for using his cell phone to tape women going to the bathroom in the public library. So far, there is no known connection between the victim, the Catholic nun, and the accused rapist. Samuel Graham attacked 60-year-old Diane Cothran in her car, threw her out of the car, leaving her paralyzed. Cothran died from her injuries. Diane Cothran was part of a group called the Fab Five. A woman Cothran was helping through her church asked Cothran to give her brother a ride home. North Charleston police say the man who needed the ride was Samuel Graham. Police say once inside the car, Graham beat Cothran in the neck and head. Beat her and threw her out of her car and left her in the middle of the road to die. 